ball bot. This is an idea I had years ago. Never got around to doing it. I got a uh, credit on Pinoco.com from a Hackaday contest. Decided to finally do it, so I modeled this up in SolidWorks. Pinoco's 3D print quality kind of sucks. They're good at laser cutting, though. So I try to brush this with acetone, make it a little bit better, but it's still not great. It'll work, though. So, the idea is, this is a sphere spherical section. I got a motor. Sticks in the center. And then this carriage with all the stuff, including the battery, weighs it down on one side. This can tilt left and right to steer. And then the motor spins it and it uses uh, gravity pulling on that to drive it around. I've gotten started a little bit on building this. Battery holders mounted up there. I just stuck micro NRF V2 board on there and then one of these LG 9110 H bridges. Uh, using this micro servo to steer and one of these little gear motors as the main drive. So I got three 3D printed pieces. This one holds a motor, this main frame thing, and then the, the, the outside. So let's build it. Got the servo wired up. Just checking my <clears throat> very quickly done servo code. Look at that, it works. Motors hooked up to the H bridge and strain relieved. Just got to wire up power. Well, that worked out pretty much as planned, surprisingly. It never happens that way. I'm not sure if I have any future plans for this thing, but it's fun to drive. It doesn't work perfectly, but it looks silly driving around, and that's pretty much the point. I have this little uh, platform here on the motor mount, and I had imagined adding some stuff to it. I thought it would look kind of cool if it had some sensors or something that extended out of this side. Maybe like one of these ultrasonic things that was like sticking out here watching where it was going. That would be kind of cool. I'm not sure if the drive is actually reliable enough to mess around with autonomous stuff and it does have a tendency to fall over on this side so yeah not perfect but into the bin of useless robots it goes